بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن الجبال جدد بيض وحمر مختلف ألوانها وخرابي بسود من الجبال جدد استويز بلغة نسيا وان از بيسيه من الجبال جبال از مجاز مرسل امين سير تراب الجبال سو بيسيه من الجبال امين از طبيعي ذيا تو سم تو سم سويل so it's not mentioned, but Jibali means not the mountain itself, but the elements of the mountains, i.e. the soil of the mountains. To some, uh, so from the soil of the mountains, you have what? Streaks, layers. Judadun is a problem of Juddatun. And Judda means here a path. That's why some of translate it as treks and or streaks. And it also means here khutta, lines. So the tracks are streaks. And the knot of Judda is the three knots. بِضَدٌ حُمْرٌ أَنْ غَرَابِي بُسُودٍ Yes, جُدَدٌ بِضٌ أَنْ حُمْرٌ أَنْ غَرَابِي بُسُودٍ So from the mountain, i.e. from the, amongst the, or from the soil of the mountains, there are different tracks and different aspects. So, you can, so basically, basically from the mountains you can see beef, white. If you look, if you, get, if you go to Google image and look at a mountain from far, you can see the white areas. The red areas, red doesn't, and again here, red, what kind of red? This humur mukhtalifun alwanuha is uh, describing. So alwan, uh, going, yeah. so alwan is mukhtalifun, is the knot of, of the judad, but it kind of links to bees and humur. So in terms of Arab, it's a knot of judad, but it links to bees and humur. So some soil, some parts of the, of the mountain are white and red. But not this white and red that we have in a pastel. This white and red. But what? Mukhtalifun alwanuha. We can say here different shades. So when they say, when they say white, it doesn't mean like white paint. It means like white, grey. So on that, on that aspect. Okay, like the, like the rocks. You see the rocky parts. They're not, they're not white. But from afar, they're not black. They have that grey, yellowish from far. So that's what it means by bead. And homo doesn't mean red. As in pastel red color car. The Kit Kat bar red. It means what? Clay color, clay. That kind of thing. So the, the Arabs use very simple base colors and it refers to everything in that spectrum. So some, some when you look from far, you will see streaks and layers and areas. Some areas are beef, some are humrun, some are red, but mukhtalifun alwanuha. And the colors are varying, the shades are, and the, the shade of the hues are different. And gharabibu sood. So really everything is supposed to be sudun gharabibu. So sood is black and gharabib is jet. Meaning it's a uh, uh, it's a taqid of the sud, so it, it should have been sudun gharabib. But for taqid and all other discussion, how do we do? It? How is it? Is it allowed? Not allowed? What taqwil do we do? It's all different. But in simple, it's it's really sud gharabib jet black. So the not supposed to come after it, but that's what it means. Implies a a, a a darkness which is extremely dark. So this is taqid of sud, but it comes before and it's a whole commercial discussion regarding that. But simply say here jet black. So basically, when not which comes before it. And how is that allowed in grammar? If you look at the Arab Quran. So some mountains are amongst the soil of the mountains. You have they're white. And we say white doesn't mean pastel white or pure like a white, but not black or for the other spectrum of black and everything that is in that kind of grey, uh, different shades of grey. Well, and Humrun and red with varying shades and extremely black. So even though if you look at a picture of a mountain, you will see all these different elements.